Good morning. How's it going, everyone? So what we're going to be talking about today is the metric system. Now, a system is just a organized thing that we all operate by. You can think of like systems of rules for driving. Driving has a system of rules. If you play sports, they probably have a system of rules. Uh, science has a system that we use to really make sure that when I do work and I give it to Mr. Schmidt to make sure I'm doing it right, he knows the language and the methods that I'm using, so that way he doesn't have to sit and translate before he can actually give me feedback. So the periodic table is kind of the system of chemistry. Yeah, it's, it's a great system. It's a structured organization. So if I say, you know, the first element, we all know that I mean oxygen, right? No, hydrogen, right guys? All right, so uh, what we're actually gonna be looking at is the metric system. And you guys cover this in chemistry, but we're gonna talk about it again because this is something that we're going to use a lot in physics. And we're not just going to use it for distances, we're not just going to use it for weights, we're going to use it for basically every kind of measurement. And to be familiar with this is going to give you a huge benefit in the long run. And this all happens because physics is really looking at things as big as the radius of a star, the distance between two stars, and trust me, that's huge, but even the distance between, between two quarks, which is significantly small. So we need a wide range to actually have these conversations. And to do so, we use the metric system. And it's just an order based on 10, which is that you know we have this kind of breakdown where if you start in the middle 1.0, I can make it larger by multiplying it by 10, 10.0, or I can make it smaller by dividing by 10, 0 0.1. So here the largest number is on the bottom and the smallest number is on the top. Correct. Okay. Um, and you got this table from somewhere, right? Yeah, we actually went in our textbook on page 18 to table 1.4, and you'll actually see these little letters. That, that top at the very, the 0 0.001 is mm, and that's a millimeter. Now, if you go into this table, it's going to look a little differently, and we'll actually talk about why it looks a little differently when we talk about scientific notation. And you guys learned in chemistry, we, you guys talked a little bit about this, but you talked about it with an, abbre an abbreviation of just to get the tool, and it was King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk or something of that nature, some kind of uh, mnemonic device, but we're going to just start referring to this as the, the, the parts of the metric system. Mm -hmm. So if you want to keep using that tool or you, you want a different tool, you can talk to us, but we're really going to just ask you to multiply and divide by 10. And what's important is that we're actually going to get bigger than a kilometer and smaller than a millimeter. So we don't want to just have our system st stuck right there. Really go to table 1.4 and maybe in your notes add everything else and so that way that language is just kind of available for you. 